While accuracy is a good way to establish credibility, it is not enough on its own. You need to present your findings in a way that appears balanced and legally grounded. Your audience, whether the United Nations, a government, or a large NGO, will be turned off if you use language that is too inflammatory or provides an analysis that is too legally aggressive. Make sure that the facts you have uncovered fully support the human rights violations you claim. Avoid taking liberties with international law. Avoid throwing around stark terms and legal concepts like genocide for what might be better described as a serious pattern of discrimination. The more serious your allegation is, the more proof you'll need to sound credible. Using the correct tone of voice can help establish your credibility especially when reporting within the UN system. Try to sound measured. That doesn't mean that your reporting can't be persuasive and powerful. One approach is to use testimony to provide emotion. By using quotes from your interviews, you humanize the human rights violation you're reporting on. This might be surprising to hear, but when your research produces contradictory facts, report both. If something is complex, don't oversimplify it. When the government does something positive, be sure to include it for balance. If you find evidence that hurts your argument, report it. By highlighting all of the different dimensions, you're trying to demonstrate true professionalism. And the last thing we want you to remember is the first thing we asked you to consider before beginning your research. What's your goal? Ultimately, you're probably seeking a positive change in behavior. If this is the case, you need to be as clear as possible in your report about what that change is. Make some specific recommendations to the government you're criticizing, to the UN or to foreign governments. It's usually a good idea to include a mix of ideal world and practical recommendations, but don't list too many recommendations or your key points will get lost. Hopefully these tips will help you write a really impactful report that you can help shine a light on the human rights situation you're reporting on. We have created a lot of good and useful handouts for you in this course. Feel free to download them and share them with your friends and colleagues.